Someone's, someone's getting married. It's a little windy out here. It's a little windy out here. A beautiful run today in downtown Denver in, excuse me, Cheesemint Park. Uh, okay, guys, we're going to keep today's vlog a little simpler. Halloween wore me out last night. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I am so tired. So I got to keep it a little simpler. We're going to go back to the house and get in the studio where it's a little quieter because it's a little windy out here and I'm not sure if the audio is going to be very good. So we're going to go back to the studio, record my thoughts on the Peg 35 or the Peg 35 Turbo. Which one would I buy if I had to do it all over again or moving forward, which one would I buy? So I'm going to give you all my thoughts, all my review and specs on the shoe. So stay tuned. Oh. Let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, I love going home. It's so good. Oh, I hope you guys had a great day. Oh, Whew. Starting that uh, little carbo load before the race on Saturday. That's right. I'm racing a half marathon on Saturday. Thank you, True Love. You're welcome. Yeah. Go, baby, go. Hi, y'all. Just getting ready, getting ready for goodness. Oh, Joseph, you do look not great. I know. Poor guy. I think so. I'll keep an eye on your temperature. Do you want want to? Mm. So good, my love. Is it good? Good. Mm. <sighs> Cheers, YouTube. Cheers. Oh man, drinking a little uh, tea. I don't know about you, but whenever I'm trying to stay healthy, I switch from coffee to tea. Anyway, that's just what I do. All right, before we dive into the PEG 35 and the PEG 35 Turbo, first, I just got to talk real quick about the comments. Essentially, the comment section of these videos is blowing up, and it's because of you, and it's amazing, and I'm inspired to keep creating and responding to your comments. However, beware that the YouTube comment system is not perfect yet. And so I'm not always being notified when you're commenting. For example, I just found some incredible comments on a vlog from October 24th. The title was Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo from Nike Store Mall of America. And basically I just found like six comments at the very bottom of the comment section that I was never notified about. And I apologize and I wanna do my best to read and respond to every single comment. And on that topic, this is not the question of the day, but I wanna ask you guys, are you getting notifications when I'm responding to you in the comments? Let me know if you have a second, comment below, and hopefully I'm, <laughs> uh, uh, hopefully I'm notified that you guys are commenting about the comment section. You get the drift. You get the drift. I love you guys. All right, let's dive into the shoes. So what I'm about to share with you guys about these shoes is under the umbrella of one of my favorite words, and if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know one of those words is discernment. 
And the reason I bring that word up is because we all are on a budget and we all have to make decisions as to which running shoes we purchase and do not purchase. And I'm struggling with that a little bit right now. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I'm on a little bit of a running shoe kick at the moment, but I want to make sure that you guys discern as well as possible the future of your running shoe purchases. So discernment is a beautiful word. It's a really important word in this world. So to help all of you discern between the Peg 35 and the Turbo, here's a few stats about each shoe. The Turbo was released August, 2018. The PEG 35 was released May 2018. This is a big one, here you go, here you go. The price, $180 for the Turbo, $120 for the PEG 35, not the Turbo. The Turbo weighs 8.4 ounces for a size 10. I could not find the weight on, if anybody knows how much this shoe weighs, the PEG 35, let me know down in the comments. I couldn't find a weight. Bottom line, the Turbo is lighter. On the upper, the Turbo has this engineered lightweight, it's a lighter weight mesh than compared to, and that's where a lot of the weight is saved in the shoe. Compared to the PEG 35, it's more of a cloth, whereas this is more of a, I'd almost put it in the category of like a plastic, but it doesn't feel like plastic, but it kind of looks like it. It's, it's definitely lighter. The Turbo has the Zoom X foam right through here in the midsole, and that is the same foam that is used in the Vaporfly 4%, so lighter weight compared to the PEG 35, which just has the Zoom foam, still good, but it is different foam through the midsole. On the outsole, the pattern of the bottom of the shoes is different, and I would say that the PEG 35 has a little more grip to it compared to the Turbo, probably because, of course, they're going for a little more speed in the Turbo. You're probably not gonna be tearing up trails in the Turbo, you could, well, more on that in a second, you could, so anyway, the tread is different. And the key word today, of course, is Pegasus for the Pegasus 35 or the Pegasus 35 Turbo. So comment below if you've made it this far. Thank you for making it this far. Pegasus down in the comments. So what is the major difference between these two shoes? In my opinion, it's the midsole. It's the midsole. So the, the foam here through the middle, the Turbo is way more comfortable. It's way more comfortable, a little more responsive. I feel like in the Peg 35 now, Granted, remember, I'm suffering from plantar fasciitis, so keep that in mind, but it definitely made my plantar hurt more in the PEG 35. Now, if you don't have PF, great. You don't have to worry about it, uh, but this guy definitely is making my plantar fl flare up a little bit more when I wear it, and I wasn't sure until I tested it out today, like one shoe right after another, and sure enough, felt great in the turbo, uh, and it was the, I think it's that Zoom X foam through the midsole that just creates this really comfortable ride and I'm just gonna tell you now I'm just gonna tell you now because I love you guys I'm racing a half marathon on trails in two days Saturday come back for that vlog this shoe is now in the running for me to possibly wear it in that race I know that's how good it felt today to wear this shoe it's obviously got way more support than the Vaporfly and it's got uh, definitely more support than a Solomon shoe. So anyway, stay tuned. I haven't made my final decision yet on that. And so again, I love the PEG 35. Don't get me wrong. Just the normal PEG, and it's 120 bucks. So you got to think about value, the value proposition here. 120, 180. That's a $60 difference. Is it worth it to go to the turbo route? If you have the money, I would say yes. I would say yes. But if you don't, that's okay. You're still going to get a great shoe out of this guy. And if you're healthy, completely healthy, you may just want to go this route. Uh, because I'm not healthy, I'm enjoying this shoe a lot more than the Turbo. But don't just buy this shoe because it has the word Turbo in it. Like, I, that's a nice marketing uh, ploy by, by Nike. But, like, I bet that's drawing a lot of, like, it's going to make you faster because it has Turbo in it. No. Uh, it just, it's it's got a little more cushion to it. And, of course, the, the upper is a little more lightweight, so that cuts down on weight. Uh, but trust me, guys, like, this shoe provides a ton of value. And once I'm healthy, I think I'm going to wear this guy a ton. Uh, but I'm going to probably put it on the shelf for a little bit until my PF tones it down just a little bit. So I hope I'm giving you guys enough to chew on as far as making a decision between these two shoes. This guy, three to five mile easy runs for me once I'm healthy. This is, this is, that's going to wear, where this shoe is going to live. This guy, the six to 10 mile tempo runs where I want to go faster. So there's a difference. 
and but this guy just a great recovery everyday shoe like i'm excited to get back into it again once the pf is done and that brings us to the question of the day if you if you had to I, i'm making you force your hand right now in the comments down below with the question of the day if you had to choose right now which shoe would you buy based on what i've shared with you uh, in this video and other videos about both of these shoes think about the price think about the weight think about the training that you do so answer down below i'd appreciate it and of course as i've already mentioned a couple times everyone's comments like you're just rocking it and so don't be afraid to chime in on other people's comments down below and get a conversation going because i'm just intrigued to see what you guys think between these two shoes i gotta stop talking i know we could talk all night about these shoes but uh you probably need to get to work go eat breakfast or heck go for a run get off the couch right we talked about that yesterday get off the couch everybody so oh yeah thanks for being here guys appreciate you answering the question of the day hitting that subscribe button and uh, come back tomorrow i'm going to talk about my shakeout routine before a race and yes talk about which shoes i'm going to wear in the race oh tough decision tough decision oh my goodness it's a good position to be in so it's going to be a fun race and it's on saturday morning highlands ranch colorado if you're local look for the green hat i'll be there i'll be there seek beauty work hard love each other see you tomorrow